Today for maths, we are going to dive a little bit deeper and study thousands as decimals. So the first challenge I'd like to do is for an anchor, recapping on what you already know and considering how to order these fractions. So the first step I would take is, is to convert them all to decimals first to then be able to order them. So pause the video now, have a go, see if you can order them and then press play when you are ready. So your answer should be 0 0.001, then 0 0.01, then 5 hundredths, then 0 0.1, then 7 tenths. Well done if you got those correct. So we're going to look at today why hundreds, tenths and thousands can link together and how we can write them all in similar ways. So why does 60 hundredths equal 6 tenths? So look at the hundred square. They are both the same but one has been divided into 10 parts whereas the other one has divided into 100 parts. We can see that they are both coloured in and they both have the same amount coloured in but each piece is cut differently. So in our tenths, the pieces are in lots of ten, whereas in our hundredths, each section is equal to one hundredth. So sixty hundredths still equals six tenths in from one whole. So let's have a look now and take a look at a place value grid. So if I was to put the number six, into my tenths column, I would have six tenths. If I was to put a zero into my hundredths column now, I now have six tenths, but also that equals 60 hundredths. If I was to put a zero into my thousandths column, that would equal six tenths, which equals 60 hundredths, which also equals 600 thousandths. Now, if we remove the zeros and we change the place where the 6 is, and now we're to put the 6 into this column now, this would now read, I did my zero before it, would it not be 6 tenths, it would be 6 hundredths. If I was to put a zero after it, 6 hundredths actually equals 60 thousandths. It is quite hard to understand, but trying is a place for you to help you to see how they can link together. So let's have a question. Does 5 tenths equal 500 thousandths? So let's have a go at trying it. So the first step I would do is, is to work and put down what 5 tenths is in my place value grid. So 5 tenths, if I put to 5 here, that equals 5 tenths. I've got 5 in my tenths column. Now, if I was to put my zeros after it, it still equals 5 tenths. So I've got 0 hundredths and 0 thousandths. So it's still only 5 tenths. But if I want you to write it in thousandths, I actually have 500 thousandths. Because remember, each tenth can be divided to make hundredths and each hundredth can be divided to make thousandths. Okay, because if we get smaller and smaller each time, we go along our place value to the right. Okay, so let's look at our next question. It says, write the numbers which have six thousandths. So to do this question, we need to have a look at the place value of the thousandths column. Now remember, the thousandths column is the third column right from a decimal point. So have a look at each number and see and write down which ones have six thousandths. So you pause the video there, have a go at that question, press play when you are ready to move on. So your answer should have been, you should have wrote down 0.026. You should have wrote down 0.196 and 0.606. Well, do you got those correct? 
Okay, so now we're on to a couple of practice questions for you today. So, pause the video, use what you've learned so far and have a go at the two practice questions. When you are ready, press play and we'll go through the answers together. Okay, so, in question number one here, you have got 93 hundredths. You have to write it as a decimal. So, let's remember it. It's a part, so we need naught point. Now, have I got any tenths? No, I haven't got any tenths at all, so I need to put zero down. Have I got any hundredths? Well, yes, I have. I've actually got nine hundredths, and I've got three thousandths. Okay, so that now equals 93 thousandths. In this one, I've got again naught point. Have I got any tenths this time? Yes, I've got nine tenths, I've got three hundredths, and I've got no thousandths. I hope you got those correct. Okay, on our next question, then we have got to match up the numbers to their fractions. So this time I've got 0 0.47. So I'm looking for four tenths and seven hundredths and I'm going to put it in to help me. I'm going to put a zero at the end and zero thousandths. I can now see clearly that this actual number here is 470,000. So that matches to this one here. The next one is 407,000. So it matches to this one. And this one here is 47,000. So C matches to the middle one. Well done if you got those correct. So today is linear now. We're going to use the white rose again to go through. Silver is questions one to five and gold again is questions six to nine. If you are ready for the platinum challenge, remember to challenge yourself when you can. It's on the next page ready for you. If you get stuck today, then please do email me and Miss Williams. We know it's a bit of a tricky concept to understand. And obviously you're not in school to have our help, so we don't mind at all you emailing us. And I will put on today for you a learning by questions as well to try and help you to practice those thousands.